Richie Isaacson, Cinch Service Provider. I want to tell you how a refrigerator actually works. Inside this refrigerator, behind the wall here, it's called an evaporator. The evaporator is a coil that actually gets the, gets the refrigerator cold and the freezer. And then the air gets distributed down from there, down into the fresh food section by a fan. It's just a distribution of air. The way that a refrigerator works is not by producing cold, it actually removes heat. That's the way it actually works and it's very important to dis distribute the heat away from the refrigerator. So that's done by what's called a condenser which is down the bottom of this particular refrigerator and you, you want to make sure that that stays nice and clean just so that we make sure that the heat gets away from the refrigerator. Okay, we're going to look at the condenser because it's very important to keep the condenser clean. And in order to get the condenser cover off, it's easier to do if you open the door. That way you could actually see what you're doing. And then we take a little vacuum cleaner and we clean the condenser. That gets all the dust off the condenser. You want to do that probably every six months because there's a lot of dust in the air. And then put the cover back on and you're good for another six months. One of the main problems about keeping a refrigerator door sealed tight is this gasket right here sometimes after a while gets dried out and it doesn't make a tight seal. A little trick that you could use is you take a little Vaseline petroleum jelly, put it on your finger and rub it all the way around the face of the gasket. Close it, that thing will be tight, tight, and it'll loosen up the gasket rubber so that it'll stay nice and tight. Same thing on the freezer section. You want to put a bead of Vaseline all the way across the whole gasket, close the door, and you're ready to go.